Hi, I'm Ashika, Assistant Professor and Head of the Department of Software Development and System Administration, MES College, Marambilli. We have been discussing about C++ constructors. In this video, we are going to learn about parameterized constructors. Well, let's get started. We know in default constructor, we do not pass any arguments. But it is possible to pass arguments to constructors. That kind of constructors are known as parameterized constructors. The arguments that we pass to the constructor help initialize an object when it is created. To create a parameterized constructor, simply add parameters to it the way you would do on any other function. When you define the constructor's body, Use the parameters to initialize the object. However, whenever we define one or more non-default constructors, a default constructor should also be explicitly defined as the compiler will not provide a default constructor in that case. It is not necessary but it's considered to be the best practice to always define a default constructor in your program. This is how a parameterized constructor looks like. You will get more clarity when we look into the program of parameterized constructor. Let's start with the class declaration. The class keyword is used here to declare the class. The class name is student. And we know in a class we have two types of members. They are data members and member functions. In this class, we have two data members. They are roll number and mark. Both are of type integer. And in the public part, we have two functions. One is student and the other one is void display. The student is a constructor. Look at the name of this constructor. The student, it is same as the class name. And also, the student constructor doesn't return anything. And look at the parentheses. Two parameters are used in this constructor. They are R and M. Both are of type integer. The values that this R and M received are assigned to the roll number and mark. And also a cout statement is given in this constructor saying I am constructor. And another function that is defined in this class is void display. The display function doesn't return anything that's why it specifies void there. And in display function the roll number and mark is displayed by giving cout statement. And let's go to the main. Here, care has to be taken while creating objects. So far, we created objects by specifying only class name and object name. Here, we are using parameterized constructor. So that kind of statements will not work. We need to pass required arguments as per the definition of the constructor. Hence, to create objects, the statement must be like this or like this. This mother is called implicit call and this mother is called explicit call. Both methods perform same function. We can specify either mother1 or mother2.
These statements not only create objects but also pass given values to the constructor. When I created the Dev object, two values representing the roll number and mark has been passed to the constructor and these values are received by R and M and they are assigned to the roll number and mark. The roll number and mark are the data members of this class. Then the next statement is Dave.display. It displays the values of roll number and mark associated with Dave object. Now let's check how the output would be. In the main function, the first sentence is to create Dave object. The object is created and 1060 has been passed to the constructor and 1060 has been stored in the roll number and mark respectively. And a cout statement works there. I am constructor. So that would be the first output sentence. And after that it returns and dave.display works. The display function displays the roll number and mark of dave object. So the roll number would be 1000 and the mark would be 60 that is displayed in the output. So this is the expected output of this program. Now let's go to the Visual Studio card. Open the Visual Studio card. Click on the file menu. Select new file. Write your code here and save. Click on the file menu and take save option and write your program name there. Save it. You can run your code either by right clicking and selecting the run code or by clicking the run button at the top right corner. I run the program and I get the output. I am constructor roll number 1000 and mark 60. This was the expected output of this program. Hope you got it.